Are you ready? Yeah, what should I do? Should I smile? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess. Alright, hi everyone. Um, sorry. Oh, I need to address two things before we start this video. <laughs> One, I apologize for not posting a video in a while. I took like a week off to get my school stuff together and then right when I was about to post a video, Hurricane Irene came and I had no power and it was like impossible to film a video. So yeah. This is my friend Tori, uh, my best friend Tori actually. We're going to be filming a best friend tag later so I don't know if that will be up before or after this video. But yeah, and then also I've been re I'm requested to do a room tour by a lot of people and I'm probably going to wait a little bit longer to do a room tour. Ooh, a room tour. Um, just because I'm about to make a few changes to my room, but as soon as that's finished, I'll definitely put up a room tour for y'all. But today's video is of Tori and I reviewing the 10.0.6 well, formula. formula, Formula 10.06 yeah. um, face skincare brand or whatever. And we both found this at Ulta one day when we were shopping, and it was really cheap. It was $5.99 for each piece, and we both got the Best Face Forward Cleanser. And then I got the So Totally Clean um, Sensitive Skin Toner. And then Tori got a few other things. I got the, well, I got the cleanser too. And then yeah. I got the So Totally Clean Deep Pore Cleanser Original Formula. Mm -hmm. So it's different. Yep. And then I got <laughs> the moisturizer, the Seriously Shine Free Mattifying Oil Free Moisturizer with Aloe Vera and Bamboo. Because I have oily skin. Mm -hmm. So I always try to find mattifying things. Yeah. And then I got the Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask with orange and bergamot. So it's just like a clay yes. mask. Oh, thanks. Okay, yeah, well, <laughs> also, like, I don't really have that oily skin. I've got really dry skin, but in my T-zone, I break out, like, occasionally, but nothing, like, bad to qualify as acne. So I just thought this would be, like, a nice little thing to kind of clear up whatever breakout I had. And the first week we had it, we both really liked it. Yeah. We were like, oh, it's nice and, and fresh. Yeah, when we got home, like, we were in the car and we were so excited to use it. Both mm -hmm. of us were. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, the thing, like, I really like the face wash because when you, like, wash your face, it broke up your makeup really quickly. Like, I'd be trying to get my mascara off. You know when you've got, like, those thick clumps of mascara, you can't get anything off? Well, I'd be, like, rubbing it in and all of a sudden the thick clumps were gone and, I don't know, I really liked this. But, about a week later, yeah. we broke out like crazy, both of us. And it wasn't like, what did you say, like how the redness, how it was just it, like... Pimples? Okay, well the pimples that I get are like actual pimples and they're like red. But the pimples that I got with this weren't even really pimples, they were just kind of like clogged pores. Like all on my forehead, and I never break out on my forehead, that's one place that I don't. It's only like my cheeks and my chin. But it was crazy. And then I looked at the ingredients because I was like, okay, does this have anything to do with like acne clearing stuff? Because it says, it claims that it's supposed to like clear your complexion. And I looked on here and it doesn't have anything to like for acne. It doesn't have salicylic acid or benzyl peroxide or whatever. So I immediately stopped using this. Mm -hmm. It was awful. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, I did not like it. And I still, uh, I've stopped using it for about a month now and my skin is still like crazy. I cannot get rid of these pimples. It's yeah. awful. Same with Toy. And Toy, like she had the little pimples that weren't like red, but I had just red pimples everywhere. You can, they're all over my forehead. I don't know if you guys can see. My camera's pretty good at blurring those out, but I, they're all over my head, or my, my head, my forehead <laughs> and my chin and my nose, and I'm trying to get rid of them. We start school Tuesday at a new school, and we do not want to be the ones going in with sits, but unfortunately, yeah. because of this, we do. It's going to happen. Yeah, I threw away my moisturizer. This is actually hers, but Tori, the, the face, face wash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 the face wash. But Tori liked the mud mask and the face wash. These so. two. The moisturizer. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the moisturizer. Sorry. I like the moisturizer <laughs> and the mask. The second thing we got was the toner, and I really like toner because I think it really just kind of balances your skin and gets rid of the excess makeup and stuff. And she got the sensitive skin because she has sensitive skin, and I got the original. And this was really... Like, okay, did yours burn? Because mine burned, like, a yeah, the lot. the first time I used it, it burned a little bit, but I think mine just kind of dried my skin out more. Like, it didn't take care of the oily parts of my skin, but it definitely dried out the bad parts, so I wasn't a big fan of this that much either. Yeah, and the original formula, I'm a big ingredients person, so I looked at the ingredients, and the first ingredient is alcohol, and if you, like, look at the ingredients, you know that the first ingredient is the highest concentrate, and the last ingredient is like the lowest concentrate if that makes sense so mm -hmm. the higher up the more of the ingredient you have so the first ingredient was alcohol and that's just like rubbing alcohol over your face and I read that 
alcohol just dries out your face and causes you to produce more oil, which produces more acne, which is not good. So right. I didn't like this either. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm not going to throw mine away just because... Oh, but one thing I did like, which, I mean, it's not making up for the fact that these are terrible products, but the packaging is really cool. Yeah, it's like... I don't know. It's like, I don't, like, yeah, an, eye like an eye or something. Eye. Yeah, that's what it's I was really cool. Say. And I like the colors. They're cool. Yeah, the colors are pretty, but I mean, this, no. Yeah. I think this was and the it, big problem. Yeah, the packaging, I just feel like it didn't do anything for me. It didn't clean yeah. my skin. And like, when you open it, can I open it and yeah. show them? Okay, never mind. That was Oh, fail. yeah. Well, it, it just like, it just pours out. out. Especially when you're in the shower and it's hot, it just like, just goes everywhere. And I kept these in like a bag together, and this is just covered in the cleanser. It's yeah. disgusting because it just leaks. And the cleanser for this, I use this with my Clarisonic, which I love. It's just like, if you don't know what it is, it's just like a brush thing that you rub on your face and it vibrates and it really cleans your skin. So I know that my, if I didn't use my Clarisonic, it would have been awful. Okay, yeah. you can edit that part out, though. Yeah, but that's fine. Um, okay, yeah, so. so then I went back, or no, I got the mud mask too with her. And then I went mm -hmm. back and I got the moisturizer because I was like obsessed. The weekend, I was, first weekend, I was obsessed. Yeah, we really liked it at first. And so I got the moisturizer and this is oil free, which is really good. And I just, I really liked this. I, everything that claims to be shine free isn't. So this is not going to be like your holy grail or whatever you call right, it, like yeah. lifesaver. But it was really good. But the one thing that I didn't like about this is that it claims to have, like, aloe vera and bamboo. And the ingredients, again, bamboo is one of the last ingredients in here. So I know that there wasn't a lot. And also, it smells so bad. Smell it. Oh, it's spilling. I know, I squeezed it. Yeah, it, it smells, smells like really, silicone or something. It smells really bad. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, it's weird. And it's just kind of like, it's definitely not for dry skin because it's not thick enough. Yeah, it's that's kind why of I didn't like, get it. It's kind of, I don't know. But it's nice, I like it. And like once you rub it in and it soaks in, your skin is matte. So I guess it means like matte finish. I don't know. Yeah. And then the mask, I really like this. And I had seen this before. Like, I think it won an Allure award. It did. That's, how, that's when we came across this. We were like, wait a minute. You know, we've seen we've this seen in magazines. Like, it's got to be... Because we had heard that it was a really great skincare line, and we we're telling you right now, some another, is good, some isn't. Another thing, okay, do you see trademark of Bond Bell? That's like the lip smackers stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, I, I found that smackers. out. I know, I found that out, and I was just like, oh, God, that's probably why it's so cheap. You really did, like, your extra research in the back of this. I Okay, when something, I don't, like, look at the ingredients when I'm about to buy something, mm -hmm. but I look at the ingredients when and I break out. skeptical, yeah. Yeah. And this was so cheap, so I should have been skeptical, because, I don't know, I feel like you get what you pay for. Yeah. But anyways, this is just a clay mask. It's, like, pink, and it, you're supposed to leave it on for, like, I don't know. It smells 15. really good. Yeah, it smells like oranges. Mm -hmm. But, um, I just really like it. I feel like it dried out my little pimples. Hold on one second. I need to make sure it's still recording. Okay, it's still recording. Okay. So, yeah, I just really like this. I mean, it's just like a mud mask, so, and it hardens up, and it gets, like, really tight on your face, and you can't move, and it's kind of funny, yeah. but it's nice. I like it. Yeah. I feel like masks are kind of, like, they're not, like, a hit and miss kind of thing with concealer, I mean, not concealer, uh, cleanser, but masks, I just like masks in general. So yeah. I would recommend the masks, and they also have really inexpensive um, pore strips, which I'm sure are fine. Like, pore strips are pore strips, so I would probably yeah. pick up those, but for negatives, we weren't that big fans of the, the um these three. The, the stuff that actually cleanses your skin, which... Yeah. That's the Best Face Forward Daily Foaming Cleanser with Passion Fruit and Green Tea, So Totally Clean Cucumber Plus Sea Kelp, and So Totally Clean Original Formula. Yeah. yeah. So these are all no's. Do not pick these up. Unless you don't have any problem. Well, actually, you never had I don't really have problematic skin. skin. I just, I've got dry skin and, like, redness, and I would get, like, the occasional pimple. You know, like, teenagers get, like, two or three, but yeah. right now I'm just that they also have in the line, like I looked it up on their website, that were not at Ulta. Um, so they have really cool stuff though. Yeah, but like, you can't buy anything straight from the site. You have to get it from an Ulta store. Yeah. But um, they didn't have it on the Ulta site either. I think it's just like, it's like a in-store thing. Which no, they had sucks. it at the Ulta site, I saw. Yeah, but they didn't have all the stuff that was on the um, the formula, whatever site. Oh yeah, site. The website thing. But yeah, try these. They're both nice. Tori liked yeah, them. Yeah, I like them. So yeah. Oh. And Tori, as you guys can tell, is such a natural with this, and we've been debating, like, doing a channel for forever, and I ended up doing a channel, and I just told Tori recently, yeah. 
<laughs> Maybe oh. you should do a video on like <laughs> telling your best friend oh, about yeah. your channel. We'll do that. We'll do yeah, a video. Yeah, that's on a good that. idea. But Tori's gonna be like my next six videos, so you guys better not get sick of her because she's awesome. Oh, and Tori, one, we're thinking Tori should make a channel. So leave a comment below. Let us know if you think Tori should make a channel, and you know, give a, give us some tips, you know. And oh, <laughs> if you have an idea for her. Um, name or something for her channel. If you do think she's supposed to have a channel, I think she definitely should. Yeah. But leave a comment and be like, you know, uh, Tori such and such, you know, whatever her channel. Yeah. Like her name is Tor Tori. Okay, so I wanted to kind of be like, my voice is really shaky. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Okay. Ugh. Okay. That's going on in the blizzards. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it no. <laughs> Grayson. Okay. Okay. So if you're like trying to help me out with the name and everything, that'd be great. Thank you. I wanted to kind of be like the current custom or oh, yeah, Andrea's current, choice, or something like really movies, cool. Yeah. I good. mean, yeah, it can like contain the word beauty in it, but I kind of prefer it not to. But yeah, yeah. I'm nothing know. like beauty X Y two four seven. Yeah, and like nothing capitals and lowercase. Something That's cool. Snappy. Yeah. Yeah. Just something that kind of has a nice flow to it. Mm -hmm. Something nice. Alright, well, thanks guys. Um, yeah.